It reads like a bad dream, a fairy tale turned nightmare. Okay, guys, so my book, The Woman and Me, is coming out October 24th. The Woman and Me is Britney Spears' personal accounting of her life from teen pop sensation to the horrors she says she endured during her 13-year conservatorship. From 2008 to 2021, her father, Jamie, was put in charge of her affairs. During that time, according to excerpts published by The Times, Spears describes a life of controlled manipulation. Too sick to choose my own boyfriend, and yet somehow healthy enough to appear on sitcoms and morning shows and to perform for thousands of people. And completely devoid of choice. They put parental controls on my iPhone. Everything was scrutinized and controlled. Everything. Of her father, she writes, he saw me as put on the earth for no other reason than to help their cash flow. In addition to the bombshell news of her pregnancy and abortion with then-boyfriend Justin Timberlake, Spears adds context to their breakup, which she says he initiated over text, saying that she was devastated, yet portrayed by the media as a harlot who'd broken the heart of America's golden boy, while in truth she was comatose in Louisiana and he was happily running around Hollywood. In the aftermath, Spears says that she was forced into an ill-fated interview with Diane Sawyer in which she felt exploited, set up in front of the whole world. You broke his heart. You did something that caused him so much pain, so much suffering. What did you do? <clears throat> According to the Times, that interview, Spears says, was a breaking point. She also says that her portrayal as a party girl was overblown. It was never as wild as the press made it out to be, that she didn't like hard drugs and never had a drinking problem. Spears also shares insights into her mental state during some of her most erratic behavior. In the throes of severe postpartum depression, abandonment by my husband, the torture of being separated from my two babies, the death of my adored Aunt Sandra, and the constant drumbeat of pressure from paparazzi, I began to think in some ways like a child. Now, this memoir, Spears says, is all a part of her finding the woman in her. So we have reached out to both Britney Spears' father, Jamie Spears, and Justin Timberlake's camp. Now, Jamie Spears has declined to comment, and People Magazine is now reporting that Justin Timberlake, via sources, is happy at home with kids, and his wife, Jess Jessica Beale, and focusing on new music. So, uh, Chloe, do we know what could be next for, for Britney Spears? So, so many of her fans have been wanting new music yeah. from Britney Spears and for her to go back on tour. But she says that right now it's about healing. She says that she suffers from intense migraines. It's about possibly healing some wounds with maybe her mother, her sister. Um, and then she also says that rather it's time for her to actually find herself. So no new music on the horizon right now. But remember, she did put that song out without, without John. Without John, that's right. Not that long All ago. Right. Last yeah. year. There's yeah. always a little glimmer of hope here. Oh, oh, she takes care of her yourself that's the number one priority yep. all right thank, Chloe. You, Chloe. thank you hey thanks for watching don't miss the today show every weekday at 11 a.m eastern 8 pacific on our streaming channel today all day to watch head to today.com all day or click the link right here